Now remember that Jesus was without sin. His meat and his drink was to do the will of the Father. And though he was a man of sorrows, a man of profound compassion, certainly no more compassionate human being in the history of the world than was Jesus. This Jesus who, when he looked at Jerusalem and knew what fate was befalling it in the near future, he wept over the city and he said, oh, Jerusalem, Jerusalem, how often I would have gathered you to myself like a hen gathers her chicks, but you wouldn't. And yet it's that same man of compassion who said, I wish it were already kindled. Now that's one possible interpretation. The second one was that Jesus knew that the judgment of God was coming, and he just simply wanted to get it over with. And that is linked to the next statement that he says, I have a baptism to be baptized with, and how distressed I am until it's accomplished. Isn't it ironic that in chapter 12, just a few verses earlier, Jesus told his disciples, be anxious for nothing. Don't worry about tomorrow, what you should eat, what you should drink, what you should put on. And he gave that sermonette against anxiety. And yet here he reveals a profound state of distress, a profound concern for himself, for what was waiting for him in the near future. I have a baptism to be baptized with, and how distressed I am till it is accomplished. Well, what? He was already baptized. He'd been baptized in the Jordan River by John the Baptist, more properly, John the Presbyterian. (laughs) But you see, John baptized him with water. This baptism was not a baptism of water. It was a baptism of fire. Again, the fire of divine judgment. So why did he use the term baptizo to to baptize? What he was getting at is this, is that, that the fire of the Father's wrath is not merely going to touch me. It's not simply going to harm me a little bit or singe my hair but I'm going to be immersed in it, inundated by it, swallowed up in it. Because all of God's wrath that is poured out on every one of my people for their sin is coming on me. He was looking towards the cross, the most vicious expression of divine wrath that we find anywhere in Scripture. God was not playing with His Son at Calvary. This was real judgment. This was real fire. This was the fullness of hell itself that came upon Him. And at this point, Jesus is saying, I can't wait to get it over with. I can't wait to cry from the cross. It is finished. It's done. No more. 